guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing like a little sit down sort of advice, chitty chatty kind of video. I did put it on my Instagram what sort of topic you guys would be interested in um, me talking about I guess and giving advice on and the one that won was uh, how to remove toxic people from your life. So I have made some bullet points kind of thing on my phone just as like talking points that I really kind of want to reference. Um, and we will sort of go into that like that. Uh, it's not going to be loads and loads of points because it's a really, really difficult subject um, and it's a really difficult thing to do as well. Like, it's very easy to just be like, oh, just cut them out of your life, but actually doing it is another thing. So I have kind of kept it to like three main points that I feel like are really, really important when it comes to like getting rid of toxic people slash environments um, and stuff like that. So. I want to start it off with like <laughs> probably like the hardest but it's like the main main one and I kind of feel like the other two points go into the actually maybe I should do this one as the last one I think I'll do this one as the last one um, so the first one that I want to start with as points to sort of like how to remove toxic people from your life is you can't fix people I feel like a very common factor with anyone that feels like they've got a lot of toxicity in their life or that they attract a lot of toxicity it is purely because it is you like it's not the pe <laughs> it's not the people around you it's you it's it's that need to fix the need to help um you can't do that like you can't fix people um you can only control yourself that's like i say this all the time and i always preach this to all of my friends as well like you literally only have control of yourself and your actions the way you speak the way that you you know think and feel that's the only thing that you really truly have control of because it's you physically feeling it it's you physically living that like other people's lives you cannot control like you of course you can give advice and you can give guidance but at the end of the day they're going to do what they're going to do so you can't fix anyone, you can't control anyone. The only person that you have full control over is yourself. Um, it isn't your job as well to like, oh wow. <laughs> it isn't your job as well to like look after people and to fix people. People will have like life traumas or they'll just be a dick for no apparent reason. And, or they'll just hold on to like, previous heartbreak and use that as an excuse to be just an absolute asshole. and you can't fix people like that nor is it your job like people just need to work on themselves including yourself you need to just work on yourself purely like just period um it's also kind of like a string like going on with that whole like you can't fix people you're not like their guardian you're not their guardian like guardian angel like you can't <laughs> If someone is just toxic, it's not your job to fix them. They have to do that themselves. Um, you should also always be standing up to bad behavior and never make excuses for people. When someone's just bad or just, they're just wrong, they're just wrong, like it's as simple as that. Um, everyone makes mistakes and that's fine, um, but you can really, you can really tell what a person's like by when you say no to them and the way that they kind of respond to that. Um, It will teach you a lot and I think if you're serious and you actually do want to get rid of toxic people in your life, you'll use that as a tool. Um, the minute you start standing up to the people like this that are toxic in your life that take advantage of you and whatnot, the minute you start standing up to that, um, they're not going to like that. Uh, and if they really are meant to be in your life, they will kind of like respect the fact that you've done that. and. Um, you know they will apologize but if they're constantly making excuses or being manipulative trying to turn it around on you and all that kind of stuff like that should you should use that as an eye opener as to the person that they are and and um use it as something to, for yourself like if that's the kind of if that's what you need as a reason to get out use that like stand up for when they're doing wrong behavior these toxic people in your life um prioritize yourself that's what you need to do uh, which is really easy to say it's very easy to just be like just prioritize yourself like it's it's a lot harder to do and I fully understand that and um, but it, it, it is that you just need to prioritize yourself and 
there's only so many times that you can kind of cry about or moan about these toxic people in your life but at the end of the day it's you that needs to take action and you need to prioritize that it's, it's, it's just as simple as that um the second point that i want to make before i go on to like the big big one is be fearless again all of these points are kind of they are really difficult that's why i've kept them to free because they are really hard and it's like me making this video isn't something that's like it's gonna you look you're like you're gonna be cured like you're gonna just know how to get rid of toxic people and you're gonna wake up tomorrow and they're all gonna be gone like that's not the case like at all and um it is something that's gonna take a lot of time a lot of practice and a lot of it's, it is a journey like i think any any aspect of your life that you try and improve and that you try and make better is always going to be a journey it's not just going to happen overnight so um learning to be a bit more fearless is definitely one of them because having toxic people in your life it's very easy to just be like oh i attract toxic people or the people around me are toxic and just it's very easy to get into victim mentality and you are obviously like people shouldn't take you for granted but you also kind of you kind of need to just be fearless as well because it's you, you kind of need to ask yourself the question as to why like why do i have all these toxic people in your life why do i put up with this toxic behavior like why is it in my life um because i i actually find a lot of it is codependency it's um that fear of not having them there and not having them being the negativity in your life and like the fear of like i don't i'm not fully sure like i feel like it's definitely like a fear of what if it's almost like a fear of like what if things don't go well when they're not in your life then you don't have that person to blame almost as it's like a scapegoat for like things that go wrong you can blame that toxicity um and the minute you get rid of that you're kind of left vulnerable again so there is codependency when it comes to like toxic people in your life that is something that you might not be happy and you might not want but you obviously depend on it because it's still in your life and it's still involved in your life you're depending on that um so it is yeah you, you definitely need to be fearless and it's scary it's scary as hell when you finally put your foot down and you finally stand up to those kinds of toxic people because it's almost like a level of bullying in a way like toxic people in your life it is a level of bullying in the sense of just like you shouldn't really have anyone in your life that doesn't make you feel loved or supported or appreciated um obviously everyone's not going to be like freaking sunflowers and dandelions all the time and there is going to be tough love at points but as long as it's coming from a loving place that's that's fine but the minute it's starting to come from just like poison and it's just toxic and there's no like it's pure just like trying to hurt you like you need to be fearful oh my god this you need to be fearful and just get rid of that um fearless <laughs> not fearful you need to be fearless and get rid of that um because yeah you attract your environment and standing up for what you believe in and want will attract the right kind of people and detract the toxicity and i'm really sorry about the focus guys this camera is not the best okay so my battery on my camera died so i'm filming this on my phone so yeah the quality's probably gone a little bit but um i'm gonna wrap it up anyway because i was on my last two kind of points that i wanted to talk about so if you're really struggling with um knowing your worth, self-love, um, confidence, whatever it is, if you're constantly putting yourself down, if you're one of those people, um, just work on self-evaluating. Just, uh, I think take an evening, take a day, take however long you want, um, and just really ask what kind of person do you wanna be? Um, what kind of person do you want people to see you as? What kind of person do you want people to remember you as? What kind of influence do you want to have on people's lives? Like, just ask yourself these kinds of questions and then just constantly consider that. Like, whenever you're doing anything, if you're having an argument, if you're doing, like, whatever it is, like, just constantly ask yourself, like, is this the kind of person that I want to be? Um, 
and then just yeah just work on that like don't take on too much i always find that if you just work on one thing at a time until you feel confident and like comfortable with it that's like how things actually change um when you put too much pressure on yourself and you try to change too many things at once it's just you're just going to crumble and be back to square one so just take it one thing at a time and just kind of work on yourself always self-evaluate all the time and just like slowly you'll start to know your worth and you'll start to stand up for yourself more and your confidence will grow and all that kind of stuff will work like getting rid of toxic people this whole video it's it's kind of like a pre-warning of like this isn't an easy thing to do this is going to be a long journey and it's going to be something that you're going to constantly have to work on but you'll get there at, at, in the end and it is yeah it is a journey and it's something that you're constantly going to work on but um the biggest point of it all is just knowing your worth and having that self-love because then you'll stand up to all of it because you're worth so much more like all of us as human beings we are worth so much more we're worth more than the pain that we go through we're worth more than the anger we're wor worth more than the poison and toxicity that we we cause to ourselves or that we put out to the universe um if you personally are even like even, even if, do you know what if you're the toxic person in this like just ask yourself why why are you so toxic why is it that you maybe push people away all the time why is it that you're so negative or hateful or whatever it is like why do you have so much of that like poison that's the only way i can explain it why do you have so much of that poison like building up inside of you like what can you do to like just get rid of that because it's one thing having toxic people in your life because that is exhausting and draining, but it's another thing being a toxic person. That also is very, very draining and very, very exhausting. Um, having so much hate all the time, like, is tiring. And nobody wants to be that person. No one wants that person in their life. And the way that we can move forward and get this level of toxicity in the world, whatever it is, just like, down, is purely just by knowing our worth and knowing, um, well, just knowing our worth and loving loving yourself. Um, constantly grow as a person, self-evaluate yourself and um, just know that you're, you know, no one ever is worth anything horrible like that. Like, y you can just grow from that. If something bad has happened to you, like, grow from that. Don't cause more bad to other people because you've had a bad life or, you know if you have a lot of toxic people in your life and you're not feel and you just feel like really unconfident and you can't stand up to that like you are worth so much more than that and you don't deserve to have that like at all so it's just start the journey today and just kind of build your plan up and you know f pick something that you want to focus on with yourself um maybe it is just something that's a bit more like loving towards yourself or maybe you want to just start waking up every morning and just saying something nice about yourself or or just like I don't know what it what it could be but um just know that it's it is a long journey and you can definitely do it um but you're just going to need to take time patience know your worth you're going to have to be fearless and you're going to have to just accept that you can't fix people and I think once you get to those three down you'll find that you aren't really in toxic relate toxic relationships toxic friendships toxic environments all of that kind of stuff will just fizzle away um i truly do believe that everyone on this planet wants to be good and we all want to be good and sometimes life will deal you a really shitty hand and you know we're just all responsible for our own choices and actions and words so just um be kind to yourself and be kind to other people around you and the more good that you put out into the universe with like real good and positive intention it will just come back to you three times fold so like just be patient because the universe does its thing so i hope this video has helped at least one person out there um i know that it's not probably what you want to hear because it's not like a quick fix towards it it's definitely something that's going to take time and it is a long journey but um i believe you can do it and if you ever need anyone to talk to you can always just uh, drop me a dm or just whatever you want to do um
leave a comment down below and so show some love make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel too because that will really really help me out and i'll see you guys next week with another video thanks bye